This video is the unboxing and assembly of Cirque's Circle Trackpad Development Kit. Let's get started. First we have some instructions to follow and a website for a full user guide. Next we have all the parts for the assembly. First, the carrier trays. Then, the Arduino module dev board with Teensy 3.2. A 35mm trackpad, a 40mm trackpad, and a USB cable, and two flex cables. Now that we've got all the parts, let's start the assembly process. So I've taken all the parts out of their bags and now I'm ready to assemble. First off we have the instructions that came in the box. For a more detailed user guide you can also go to our website which is noted on this instruction sheet. So let's start with the Arduino dev board and connect the small black carrier tray on the side of the board opposite of the connectors, like so. Okay, next is the bigger carrier tray, which also holds the circle track pads, and it goes on the other side of the dev board. Carrier trays serve two purposes. First, to hold the dev board off the surface, and second, to hold the circle track pads in place so they aren't flopping all over the place. Next, I'll connect the circle track pads. I'm starting with the 40mm first. Connect the flat flex cable to the 40mm like so, blue tab facing this direction. Be careful not to bend or damage the cable while inserting. Now that the cable is connected, let's put the 40mm into the carrier tray and connect the other end of the cable to the dev board. Blue tab facing up. Note that the connector on the dev board has a cable lock, so make sure that the tab is pulled up, then insert the cable and press the lock down into place. The 35mm trackpad installs the same way as the 40mm trackpad, just on the opposite side of the dev board. Again, pay attention to the direction of the flat flex cable and try not to damage it in any way. Last, you connect the micro USB cable to the green Teensy board. Now that you're fully assembled and ready to start working with code, watch our next video that details how to download and start working with our code on GitHub. 